today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a first impression with the new Pestle Pup palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. Pestle Pup palette, just a little bit hard. So this is finally here and uh, it looks like this. I am not super thrilled about the packaging. I love seals but like... I don't know if I want it on my palette, but I like the size. I wonder if it is the same size as the other palettes. Yes, it is. So this got 12 shades and it looks like this. So one thing that is a little bit different with this than their other palettes, it's not <laughs> this way, it's this way, like a book. So it has... Uh, nine matte nine matte shades up here. One, sh it has eleven matte shades. Okay, we start over. It has eleven matte shades. It has eleven matte shades and one shimmer, and then it has nine pestles up here, and this. A shimmer blue and then a black and white so good as I explain this to you because you can't see and I am <laughs> so thrilled about this I have the creepy cute from shroud it's like the best pastel palette ever and I hope that this is good as well I've heard some mixed reviews but if I'm going to be honest it was a long time ago since I looked at a video with this because it has taken pretty long for it to come to Sweden because of the whole situation in the world right now and so on. So it's finally here and I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to swatch it. Um, no. But yeah. I'm thinking about doing two different eyes. So I will see you in a little bit and then we just get started. Okay, so my idea for this look, it's this I am doing like orange, reddish orange and then it ends up with yellow and then this side starts with yellow and go like green and blue. I hope that will work because I want to try as many shades as possible. So I will start with my crease and for this eye I'm going to take a fishy and for the other eye I think I will take flipper. Okay maybe fishy is a little bit too light. I know I can't remember who it was if it was Millie from Bad to the Brow, or if it was Amy. Or if it was Annette. I don't think it was Annette. That said that a white base was better and... Yeah, I might understand why, because... She's like, you can't see this. I can see it. A little bit. Maybe I just have to build it up. And it has quite a lot of fallouts. Menagerie's shadows often have. Okay. I at least can see something. I don't know about you. But I can see a little bit of something. And then we take the green one flipper on the other eye. And this I I guess that this will show up more. Um the question is only how much of a pastel it will be. At least a little bit. I have to build it up, but I still feel like it's not <laughs> a blurry mess. And I think it actually looks so much better in the camera than in real life. But yeah, it's 
maybe not like super bright but it feels when I blend it it gets more color but it's not like darker in that way does it make any sense at all I don't know but okay that's my crease and I think I maybe will do one eye at a time so I will go on this side. I will take snack, cuddle, and sun bath. And I will take snack out here, then cuddle in the middle, and sun bath in my in the corner. In my cream corner. Okay. Also snack. It feels like the shadows looks a little bit dry. On my lid but I don't know it doesn't feel like I'm like used to work with this light colors all the way and it feels like this snack was a little bit more pinkish on the eye it is this one then in the pan and then I take Cuddle, the pink one, and we'll see how that looks. Okay. That's a little bit more coal tone, but I... This one I really liked. I don't know if it was the best combo with this snack one and then this cuddle one but I really like the cuddle one it feels really like opaque it feels like I'm going in with uh, like this palette's not going to work it feels like that I I can hear myself I'm sorry but it's just that I am not I have heard good things about it, but not like maybe that super good. And I also think that I like <laughs> compare it to my creepy cute. Okay, and then I'm taking the yellow sun bath in here. And this I am a little bit nervous about. Because it feels like this is going not to be so opaque and a yellow shade is something that I really, really misses in my Creepy Cute palette. And first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this one because I have the Creepy Cute that I love so much. But then it was like, okay, it's a yellow in here. I really, really want that. And Creepy Cute has only eight shades and one gray and one black so yeah and I felt like the colors I miss in creepy cute they are in this one I think I need my other makeup to know if I like this but I think it looks pretty good um so far I really like this color one the pink one yeah and I think the yellow, why do I always say yellow? The yellow one is, it is really light, but at the same time, it's a pastel yellow, not a like neon yellow. Maybe it's a neon yellow I want, I don't know. Okay, I think we go to the other eye and there, I don't know what I want to do. I used a flipper, this one. And I don't know if I want, I think I want to take Ice war Worm, but I don't know Aquatic or Ice Cap or Belly Slide. And in which order? Okay, I actually think I will take Belly Slide, this one, and Ice Worm, and then Sun Bath. Yeah, so I take Belly Slide. And this looks really good on the brush. And it looks good on the eye as well. 
maybe this wasn't the best idea because it thing it feels like it's going to be a blur in my crease but you know what I usually don't care about that and I'm not going to care about it today either okay that was a really easy <laughs> nice shade to put on and now I will take ice worm this looks really good on the brush as well This is pretty like, it's a little bit bluish, what is it? And it lays down really well. And I feel that the shadows are easy to blend together. Even though they are all matte and done. Okay, and now I'm taking the yellow one and put it in here. It doesn't feel like it's got the same pop. But I think the space for the yellow was a little bit smaller on this eye than on the other eye. Okay, I feel that this is like the best I can do. I will go in with both of the crease brushes I had, no additional color, and just swoop it a little bit in my crease. And I actually don't know what I think. I have no idea. It feels like I take took too much of this belly slide out here on this eye but things happen so yeah I will take away the fallout I have quite a lot like out here and in here I will take that away I will fix my base and my brows and I think it will look a little bit better with that and then when I put on my lower lash I think it will look so much better so I will fix that and then I come back okay I feel it it feels a little bit better for my lower lash I'm thinking about taking now we'll see a flipper on this eye and fish -y on this and then I was actually thinking about taking snowball like in here but I don't know if I want the yellow in here Okay, <laughs> I will ask, or should I take snack maybe? No, I will take fishy and flipper on my lower lash. But I still have to decide if I want to take it like the whole way or if I want to take the blue shimmer or if I want to take the yellow. I think I will take the yellow. Yes, I will. Even though I swatched the blue one, the shimmer, and it looked amazing, but I want to take the yellow, so I do like this. And then I take the yellow with the same brush. And smudge it in here and have a little bit in my eye. That's good. I like it very much. I know that I want to do two different eyes pretty early on when I got this palette but the big problem for me is I don't know what to do about my lips and I still don't know but I will take uh, I think this is good yeah it still feels I feel so naked I think it's because I don't have any mascara on but I will take something in my waterline and I'm thinking about yellow one and take it the same on both eyes yeah put on mascara and try to choose a lip I am thinking about pink I don't know but I will fix that 
and then I come back. So this is the finished look and I actually listened to myself because when in doubt take a red. And I took Hidden Heels from NYX. It's liquid suede and on my waterline I took Crossed from Colourpop. So what do I think about the pastel pop? I like it. I I don't think it's a bad palette at all. Yeah, I have to check how it's looking. I don't think it's bad. I feel that the shades worked for me. This fishy I had to like build up quite a lot and also flipper, but I still feel like it's still a bright and fun color even though I have built it up, so I like that. I I like it. I don't, I think the shades in like the creepy cute are a bit more opaque. These are opaque, but you have to build them up. And one thing like my first, I don't know if I should even go on to this because it feels like I'm out in deep water. Ute på djupt vatten. Do you even say that in English? Ute på djup... Uh, shit, same. Um, <laughs> it feels like... Uh, okay, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to try to explain what I mean. I am not good with undertones if a shade is cold toned or warm. One thing I feel about this is some of the shades are really warm and some of them are cold and f for me like okay pastels they should always be warm in my in my head pastels should always be warm but like this cuddle it feels like it's a little bit cold toned don't don't quote me on that I don't know and it's it it like <laughs> disturbs me a little bit but does it really do that because I don't care in normal cases I don't know, but like it's a warm tone shadow and a cold tone and a warm tone. I don't know, but the undertones, I don't know, but I think I like this look. The yellow, I think I wanted more of a punch, but if I'm going to be honest, I think like the yellow that I'm really, really looking for is more of a neon. I always in the hunt for like the best yellow there is but I actually think that a neon yellow is more what I want. I think this is a, past a good pastel yellow but I want would want more of a punch. And I have only used my eyeshadow primer from Milani. I think it works good. I think the colors is showing. And why does this turn out to a super long review and I talk about things I don't know nothing about. I like this palette. I like the creepy cute more. It feels like they have like more impact. But I like this palette. I haven't used all of the shades. I haven't used these five. The size swatched it. It looks amazing. It's really really creamy. And yeah. It's going to be fun to see what this is going for. I don't know how much I will do with only this. I think maybe like take it together with a whale song palette maybe or dragon child will look really cool just to have like a bunch. And that I can also say. If you have seen my review and some of the videos I have done about the dragon child palette, I have struggled with a lot of their shadows and some shadows in that palette that is discontinued but the shades are still available they are like they look like pastels maybe I can show you instead of just talking about it so in dragon child I am thinking mostly about this one dragon child and this stone drake they are like nothing as they look in the pan not for me at least so I think in that case, they have done a really good job with the pastels in this, and my first impression is good. Would I recommend this over the Creepy Cute palette? No, but if you want more shades than just six 
pastel shades I would recommend this like my first impression but also I have a very fair skin type so it's hard for me to know how it will look on others like this fishy it shows on me I don't know like with someone with a medium complexion and a dark and deep I don't know how it will look but on me that is pale it works so yeah I think I'm just going to end this here I liked it i have nothing to complain about really nothing that likes i don't regret buying this because it's fun to have more pastels i like this look but i, I always feel a little bit awkward when i do such a light look so yeah i really hope you liked this video i am so sorry for all the talking <laughs> sorry but yeah i really hope you like this and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope i'll see you in the next one Bye!